Unmanned drones that can tase or shoot a person from the sky and can even launch a grenade. These are the latest toys the Houston, Texas SWAT team, the police department, purchased using its Homeland Security grant given to it by the federal government. Is this the next phase of the police state, where cops can play video games with our civil liberties and with our lives? Here with the frightening analysis is Lou Rockwell, Mises Institute founder and chair. Lou, it's a pleasure. Welcome back to Freedom Watch. Judge, great to be with you. Say it ain't so. Say that the police department of Houston does not have unmanned drones from the sky that can tase someone or kill them as the military has been doing overseas. No, it's true. And of course, the federal government is, as you mentioned, supplying these things. Uh, they're all federal agents. Various federal agencies have them. Uh, undoubtedly, the state police will have them, the local police. Maybe we can look forward to dogfights among all the predator drones. But of course, they, they uh, also are developing x-rays that can see through the, the walls of your house. They can spy on you in your backyard while you're sunbathing. Uh, and as you say, they can taser you, shoot a baton into your head or uh, even kill you with a grenade. And we're supposed to feel safe about this. We're supposed to think this is to fight terrorism, when of course it actually is terrorism. Most of what we're told about terrorism is, I think, uh, uh, phony baloney. Uh, but of course, the federal government is establishing a police state, cameras everywhere, on every light pole, right. uh, reading our emails, listening to our phone calls, and now shoot you in your backyard if they don't like what you're doing. Uh, no trial, no jury, just boom. Well, well, the, it starts with the federal government. The Patriot Act un unleashed thousands of federal agents to write their own search warrants, to capture the keystrokes on our computers when we use them, to get our, our legal records, uh, our telephone records, even our medical records. Now the federal government is going to give money to local police departments. I think you just made a very good point, Lou, and that is if Houston has this, Dallas is going to want it. If Dallas has it, I'm just naming cities in Texas to start with, Austin's going to want it. If those three police departments are going to, are going to have it, the Texas Rangers, the name for their state police, are going to want it. And if Texas has it, can New York and California and Illinois and New Jersey be far behind? Judge, just the, just the existence of the SWAT teams, which are militarized, I mean, armored units, nothing like what local police used to be, are themselves a sign of the police state. And now they're going to have these, these drones. And it's not only the big cities. Every small town, every small city is going to have their drones. But, you know, the, the federal government, among all the other wonderful things they're doing for us, giving us a depression and so forth, want to dronize the whole country, make us all vulnerable anytime they don't like what we're doing, boom. And, uh, you know, you've got nothing to say about it. Maybe you can bring a suit afterwards that uh, they'll say is too secret to be examined right. and you're out of court. And, and much of this has happened without any popular vote. Decisions by, uh, by bureaucrats uh, and law enforcement started with the federal government. One hand, the Patriot Act, and the other hand, the president deciding to become judge, jury, and executioner on an American in a foreign country. He doesn't need a trial. We don't have time for a trial. The evidence of guilt is so overwhelming. Right. We know their argument. What can we do about this, Lou Rockwell? Well, of course, we also have to focus on the, what, what should we call it, the security industrial complex, I mean, the vast network of industries that are making so much money off these drones and all the rest of the, you know, the tanks that the local cops have and so forth. So I think we need to educate ourselves. Uh, how about reading your new book uh, would be one thing people could do, or uh, reading your previous book on the Patriot Act. Um, we have to educate ourselves. We have to understand what our freedoms are, who our enemies are, and it's not some guy in Yemen. The enemy is in Washington, D.C., and in every other uh, capital, state capital, local government office building. That's where the enemy is. Those are the people who want to take our, away our freedom, are taking away our freedoms, taking all our money, too. Lou Rockwell, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Judge. Find out why your night watchman has been turned into 